Brookhouse School is a set to play host to Kenya's first ever presidential debate. And on Sunday, this was the scene at the Dome where the six presidential candidates will battle it out with the aim of wooing votes ahead of the March 4th poll date. On Monday evening, from around 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., Kenyans will be glued to their television sets, radios and computers to watch the presidential candidates discuss policy issues and convince them why they should earn their votes. It is the first one of its kind in the country's history and will be the first of two debates which will see the candidates discuss issues of governance, social services, security and resource management. And at the Dome, a mock debate was being conducted. The candidates will shake hands as they make their way to the podium, after which the national anthem will be sung. Each candidate will be accorded two minutes to respond to the various questions floated. During rehearsals, now Kenya's Martha Karua, Eagle Coalition's Peter Kenneth and Professor Ole Kiyapi of Restore and Rebuild Kenya made an appearance at the Dome where they were roughly guided through tomorrow's process. It is expected that the event will attract up to 44 million people who will follow the much-anticipated debate live on the media, making it the biggest media event in Kenya's history. The six candidates expected to participate in the debate include Code Presidential Flag Bearer Rilo Dinga, Uhuru Kenyatta of Jubilee Alliance, Na Kenya's Martha Karua, Eagle Coalition's Peter Kenneth, Musale Mudavadi of the Amani Coalition, and Professor Ole Kiyapi of Restore and Rebuild Kenya. However, Safina's Paul Meter and Mohamed Abduba Dida of Alliance of Real Change Party were time barred because they were not in the picture when the organization committee began preparing the exercise. As a party, we feel discriminated upon. When we talk to the organizers, they tell us, we didn't know Honorable Muite will be in the ballot paper. <laughs> Again, we ask, who knew who would be in the ballot paper? The members of Safina have sought redress from the court with their hearing expected Monday at 11 a.m. They also urge CMD to condemn the move to have them locked out of the debates. But as they await the court's ruling, Kenyans are set for the first of a kind presidential debate. Now the stage is set and in just a few hours the six presidential candidates will battle it out on the podium as they woo voters on why they should be elected as Kenya's fourth president. For K24 News in Nairobi, I am Mweni Mulandi.